Hey y'all, welcome back to Shanetta DIY Life channel. Thanks for checking out my video. It truly means a lot as a lot goes into making these for you all. Today is going to be a very simple and easy DIY for the kitchen. I have been seeing the herb pictures everywhere, but they are very expensive, over a hundred dollars most times for some watercolor herbs. And I found these online. I will link to you the actual blog I found it from because she made these herself and she deserves to get whatever she needs because this was an awesome free water um, coloring for the herbs and she gave a lot of them so you can choose whichever one you want to put inside of your kitchen. I got these frames from Dollar Tree a long time ago because as you can see it had the words dream um, and, other, and other words on it. I forgot which one it was but I kept them because I knew I love the frames and it can be used for a lot of different things because they're deep inside. So I used some acetone to remove the wording and now I am applying some white acrylic paint to the outside frames. These frames are white-ish but I wanted it to be a very bright kind of white because my kitchen walls are yellow and I know you probably be like ill but you know it's yellow and it's a cute yellow because I knew when I was younger I was like ill this is the most ugliest color and it reminds me of old people but when I finally put on my walls I was like I love it so I'm a little hypocritical with that but yeah I made my walls yellow and the white will pop along with the water coloring of these herbs so I am so excited for you guys to see this very simple thing and it really did make a dramatic change in my kitchen my husband was like I like what you did with the kitchen I was like oh you notice like you never notice anything but you notice that so it's something that you would definitely want to do in your kitchen if you have not put anything on the walls to just give it a little bit of touch of home Now I decided to print out the water colorings on some heavy printer paper. I'm not sure of the name because I had it from a long time ago but it was um, in a white pl plastic um, cover casing and it said professional on the top but it's very heavy and thick and I love the quality of it because it will make it last and look more like, more like a picture to me in the frames. So the ones I chose to print out were rosemary, thyme, parsley, and sage. And it looks so good against the background of the walls in my kitchen. And because I'm using a standard size frame, I decided to use the glass of a 4x6 picture frame to cut out each of the herbs from the picture and it looks perfect in size in the middle of the bigger picture frame. So you can do that as well or you can actually just leave the entire picture where it is and just make it the size of the frame and hang it up that way. For me I wanted the, the contrast of the white with my actual wall color and the water coloring to all just blend together and it looks so good to me. Now that you have all of them cut out, you're now going to affix them inside of the picture frame with some clear tape. You can use any type of clear tape you want, but you want to make sure it's clear so that you can't really notice it once you put it up against your wall. I just eyeballed it when I put the picture inside of the frame to make sure it looked like it was having an equal amount of space all around before I attached it to the glass. And you want to make sure before you put the pictures in that the glass is indeed clean on both sides so that no smudges on things like that will peek through when you're all done. And that's it. 
I hope you enjoyed this DIY as much as I enjoyed making it. Make sure you check out my other DIYs and subscribe so you can get notified when I make new ones. I hope you have a beautiful day.